We built the dream and then we sold the dream. We're about to take you to see everything you didn't get to see in the other episodes of Building the Dream. This house, on this lot in, in the historic Bellmead, there was an old English cottage house. Yeah. Huh? In disrepair, the property was way overgrown. I was able to work out a deal and buy this property. And what we wanted to make sure that whatever we put back here really is a compliment to the community of Bellmead. And the elements you'll see in this house, from the half round entrance mm. to the, the roof pitch, to how the front facade siding curves out over top of the windows and bricks. So we basically took these elements of English arts and crafts yeah. and created this beautiful home and then on the inside made it more up-to-date, modern, how we live today. When you're on such a tight schedule, you know, trying to get this house built within six months. It's a little tighter, it's a little more challenging. So it's a lot of people mm -hmm. converging on a structure in a shorter period of time. So it's like controlled chaos. Towards the end, it was challenging. You know, there's a lot going on, a lot of long days, but it's, it's part of the process. And uh, you know, some of that's is excitement, because you, know, you want it to come together, you want it to come together right. What's in this space? Seven bathrooms, three laundry rooms, and all the nooks and crannies that you can't imagine. Let's go and check it out. When you first enter this home, one of the first things you notice are these amazing arches. So I really felt it was so important with this dramatic architecture and this incredible staircase to have wallpaper in here. Yeah. The opportunity to add a uh, pattern to add color, to add texture. The wallpaper that in, ended up in the house, I was quite impressed in how everything came together. That's the entry, but wait till we get to the living room. This is the living room, the true gathering space of the house. And when you have a home that has texture, people automatically relax a little more. What's great about this space is it's the connecting point of the whole house. Let's keep going to the outdoor space, which is Barclay Butera's. This is an extension of your home and a place that you can entertain in all year round, especially with this amazing fireplace here and this fantastic LG television. You know, the outdoor space is something, you know, no matter what budget that you're at, you want to make sure you're integrating that outdoor space with the interior so it flows well together. You know, when I create an outdoor space, I'm all about comfort. I want you to enjoy the space. I want it to be inviting. It's all about color in this situation and, you know, surprise. After dinner is done, what better way to have a digestif than to come sit here at the fire pit and just relax under the starlight. This is the ultimate part of outdoor entertaining and outdoor living. From the outside, we're gonna go back in through the living room and to the kitchen, which as we all know, is the heart of the home. For anybody that loves to entertain and cook, this is the 48-inch dual fuel pro range from Signature Kitchen Suite. When people come in here, I want the first thing that they feel is that they can, they relate to the space. They can immediately picture themselves cooking here. So now we're leaving the butler's pantry and entering the mud room. Behind us is one of the entrances, so when you walk in, everything happens here. One of the cool things is that it has a washer and dryer right in this space which means everybody, because it's front loading, can get their laundry done. One of the awesome things in here too, coming home from the gym, just throw your clothes in this wash and you're good to go. Everything in here is about the ultimate storage. So what we tried to do in this house was to keep the area centrally located. Um, you know, it's kind of a mixed use. There's, um, you have mud lockers, you have a sink area, desk area, and a place to do laundry. So you're kind of multitasking in the space as opposed to being closed off by itself. Now we're gonna exit and go back to the other side of the house. Modern Remains created this vibrant breakfast room that's the perfect place to start every day. We just wanted people just to have joy mm -hmm. and just to light up when they walk through it. We're entering one of my favorite rooms, the dining room. 
and you want to talk about turning a traditional room on its head. We wanted to create a space where you could have just a weeknight dinner or even a formal dinner party and maybe play some ping pong. This is actually two four foot by four foot tables that have been pushed together to be a ping pong table. Take the net off, a dining table, and my favorite, when it collapses down, to be a coffee table. So you can just sit here and lounge. Now we're gonna move into the master bedroom. But before we get there, this is one of the seven bathrooms I mentioned when we first walked into the house. Now we're gonna go into the master bedroom. Christine Page Cam and Scene did this space. And what's awesome about this is it's so relaxing with this Philip Jeffries wallpaper all around that has cranes and clouds. Do you want this in your own house? <laughs> yes, of course I do. Wallpaper is everywhere right now. Everyone wants to do wallpaper because it's the quickest way to get some really great color, movement in the room. And I think you know if you put something fabulous on the walls as far as a wallpaper, then you can simplify all the furnishings. I love that concept. It's definitely the place you want to relax. Oh, oh God. But again, that's for later. Let's go into the master ensuite. You want to talk about having a personal spa at home, all from Kohler. This is definitely the sort of bathroom that you can chill in. Completely going for that calm, yeah. tranquil atmosphere, right? The focal point is defined as the center of interest or activity. Naturally, a focal point can be easily defined in a bathroom with a beautiful tub or a beautiful shower application. But then we keep going into the master closet. It's got its own LG washer and dryer and the LG Styler steam closet. Perfect for doing quick refreshes on your clothes and also throwing Fido toys in there because it gets rid of all the allergens and odors. We have three laundry spaces in this house and you know in today's world I think people are so busy and parents want to be involved with their children or you know other members of the household they don't want to have to go down to a basement to do laundry. One hidden gem in here? A safe room. This master closet, the mud room that you saw, and all of the bathrooms were all created by the Castle Homes design team based right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Now it's time for us to go upstairs. Now we're on the second floor in one area of the house. There's an entire other wing here. This is the stair landing, and Modern Remains, based here in Nashville, did this space. So far, that's my favorite piece. Oh. Isn't it great? So far. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you like it. And then through here is the media room. Because this is a family space, they've got two swivel chairs in front of this massive fireplace. And then on this side, a Liebherr fridge, which is perfect for not having to run up and down the stairs to get a drink. And on the other side is the LG homebrew. You can make your own craft beers here, perfect for game night. So we leave the family space of the media room and on either side of the stair landing are the kids' spaces. So we're gonna go into the boys' room first, but again, I mentioned before all the bathrooms in this house and the laundry rooms. Here's one of the guest baths up here and then the laundry room upstairs so the kids can do their own laundry. Then we're gonna go into the boys' room. What's great about this space by Amy Berry is the kids can really run around. So tough and tumble, totally works. As I mentioned before, every room in this house has its own closet and bathroom, and this is the boys' room with his own closet and this beautiful custom tile by New Ravenna. It definitely is a wonderland in here. Now we're entering Amy Berry's other room, the girls' room on the opposite side. And she has taken this entire room and wrapped it in this beautiful fabric that's so cozy. With rooms like this that angle, I think more is more. I think that kind of wrapping it just makes that big of a difference. And of course, another beautiful bathroom created by Castle Homes. This is really a room she can grow into. And one of my favorite spaces is actually the girls' bath. Um, pink and green isn't necessarily a color combination that uh, a lot of people 
are attracted to, but the, because they're a very blush green and then a, a sagey kind of forest green. So it's a, an unexpected use of color in a space. So now we're crossing over the stair landing going into the home office. This was really another bedroom in the house and we figured with more and more people working from home, let's turn this into an office space. I've noticed people coming in here just hanging out. Like, you have, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's working. <laughs> Off of the office, rather than doing a typical kind of walkway, we wanted to make it feel like a home office and create an entire breakfast area, complete with a coffee maker and another little refrigerator so there's no excuse for not getting work done. And of course, one more bathroom. Now we're gonna go to the second part, which is on the other side and also upstairs. So this is the other side of the house, right off of the mudroom. And up here are two rooms and of course, another bathroom. On this side, you've got the home gym with another LG Pure Care right here, a Peloton bike, and one of the newest things out. One of the coolest things we have in this space is actually this mirror. It is indeed a mirror when it's turned off. And then when you turn it on, you just simply go to the app on your phone and you pick a class. They have um, live classes as well as pre-recorded classes. And you can do one as short as 15 minutes and they go all the way up to an hour. And it's a great way to incorporate um, all different styles of workouts into your routine, such as cardio and strength, like you see right here. Um, so it's just a really great thing to incorporate into your workout space. And I think it's so, so important for, for people that when they're designing their house, is to encourage them to find a place in the house for a workout area. I think with us encouraging them to put in a workout area, I hope you do that for the husband, because I'm not necessarily going to do that for the wife. But now we're going to go to another room that is quintessentially Nashville. If you're going to be in Music City, why not have a music room? When people walk into our space, we want them to feel a vibe. We want to feel like someone's lived here, that someone's actually creating or being inspired every day. I would like for anyone walking in this room to feel completely comfortable and relaxed. This is the way every day should end. Curled up on a sofa, hanging out with friends, and listening to great music. That's the end of Building the Dream, Nashville.